Hey YouTube, it's Drew918 here. This is just a short video on the hop-up system in Airsoft Weapons. By no means this is a tech video, I'm just going to basically quickly explain to you what the hop-up system is and what the hop-up system does. First of all we're going to start off with the internal barrel. This one's off uh, an ANK M249. First thing you'll notice about the barrel is at one end there's a slight groove out of it. As you can see, and on the bottom side there's another groove. Now in this barrel is where your BB will sit, and this is where it comes out. So this is the back end of it, the piston is going to be attached to here. So this groove will always be on the top of your barrel. Now inside the hopper is a wee groove at the bottom there. That lines up with a groove at the bottom of this one. And we can get it on. There we go. So this that gap you've seen is now at the top of this weapon here. Now when your hop-up is on, this bit here, try and push it for you, you see it still pushes in there, will be pushed down. And that's hop-up fully on. If your hop-up isn't on at all or off, this bit will just be bow. And basically all that is doing is when the BB enters the barrel here, it shoots down, depending on how much hop up you've got on, it will shoot down, skiff off of the hop up rubber, which will then put backspin on the BB, which then, when it's in its flight, the backspin will keep it up in the air for a little bit more. And basically, what you're looking for the hop up to adjust your hop up is the BB, when it starts to dip, when there is no hop up on, you'll see it dip and quite quick, quite far. If you put too much hop up on, basically you'll see it travelling and it will just shoot up in the air wildly. As soon as you see it starting to shoot up a bit, then you need to tweak the hop up just to bring it down to keep it at a straight line, especially for snipers. This will keep your weapon travelling in the air, keep the maximum range out of your weapon. Right guys, I hope that helps a bit to explain it. What I'll do quickly now is to show you the various different hop ups and different uh, hop up adjustments in different weapons. First of all, we're going to start off with the ANK M249. This is a top roller system of a hop up adjustment. You'll also find this sort of system in G36s. It's probably a bit easier to show you on this one. You just cock the handle on a G36 and you know, it will come apart. Hopefully, I can get that in line for you. As you'll see here, there is a dial, and all I will do is turn this dial fully on and fully off. And you'll notice that there's a little black mark on this dial. I've actually put this one on myself, and it's just showing me when the hop up is fully off because there is no marks on it, and as you can see, you can wonder if you've moved it at all sometimes. Hi right, guys, this is the second sort of hop up uh, adjustment that I've come across. I was hoping to have an AK for you for this video because the AKs are very similar but this is a slider one. Uh, this one will probably show up the best anyway. But this is actually off a, a Mossberg shotgun. I'm not even sure who makes it. It's a very good gun though. Um, and basically all the hop up is is that it's right on the side of the weapon so it can be adjusted quickly in the field. And it's just a slider. That's hop up fully off and the hop up is fully on. And the only difference to this really uh, to, the AK, to the AK is the AKs are very good because if a lot of them I've seen have got screws so as soon as you set your hop up you can actually just screw it to tighten it not too much mind just hand tight screw it to tighten it and you shouldn't have to adjust your hop up on the field but this one's very handy because if you put different weights of BBs in your weapons you can adjust for that weight right this is one that you probably know the most uh, know the most even it's a bit more awkward to adjust this one but basically the hop-up device on most M4s, HK416s, M16, any sort of variant of this weapon I've seen is actually behind where the round would exit it. And the hardest thing about this is adjusting it. Pull the cock and handle, pop it, as you can see you're going to have to hold that handle back. And all it is, try and get that in the camera again, all it is is this little dial here. You turn it on, it's usually clockwise on, anti-clockwise for off, like a screw, just turn this little hop up here, and then turn it to, to fully off. 
Right guys, finally, it's the DL96, my sniper weapon that you see in a lot of the videos that when I'm sniping. The reason I've got my finger here is because it's the most awkward hop-up system I've ever come across. And it's this actual, that's an allen key you can see sticking up there. As I turn the weapon, you'll see this, this is the mag housing for it. And that little hole through there, you stick a, a, a 2.5mm allen key and feed it to the top and that's the hop up system in this one um, I may as well adjust it because I haven't been out with it for a while but obviously you do it clockwise and anti-clockwise to adjust it now again with this is adjust it little bits at a time, quarter turns and then if you see it making a change just a wee bit back it up as soon as you see that BB flying up in the air with sniper weapons it is very precise um, and I'm not actually sure what the other sniper weapons are, but this is the most awkward one I've ever come across. The Allen key one. Because if that falls out, it's a pain to get back in, that's why I've put it in in the video, not to embarrass myself. Right guys, I hope that helped a bit. Uh, I have been getting a lot of questions about it, and I think I've covered all the bases on the questions there. All I'll just say again is about when it comes to adjusting your hop-up, is, is just adjust it quarter turns each time. Uh, as soon as you see that BB starting to raise, at the end then, just start bringing it back down ever so slightly. It will be fiddly for snipers, don't worry, just be patient. It is something that comes with airsoft uh, sniping, is the fiddliness of it. So uh, I'd just like to say thanks again, thanks for your subscriptions, don't be afraid to comment below, and don't be afraid to ask me any questions. Thanks for your support.